In this demo, we'll show you how to migrate a two-tier LAMP stack application with Migrate for Anthos. Let's start with our VMware vSphere setup on-premises. There are two VMware VMs in this application, one for the application server and one for the database server. This CRM application is the application that we are going to be migrating. Right now, the application is running on-premises. Now we'll go to Google Cloud Platform Google Kubernetes Engine Cluster. The database server has already been migrated and a load balancer is already configured for the application. Let's deploy Migrate for Anthos into the cluster. After that's complete, let's add the VMware setup as a source for migration. Access to the remote setup is facilitated by a Migrate for Compute Engine deployment. The setup is now complete. Let's create a migration to generate the migration plan YAML. Now we can review the migration plan YAML in Cloud Shell. It's important to exclude certain types of files and directories from the migration. Now that we've reviewed the migration plan, we can start the artifact generation process. For the application server, this includes a container image, a Docker file, and a reference deployment YAML. Here in Cloud Shell, we can also examine the migration status of the application. Now we'll return to our VMware vSphere web client. A snapshot is automatically taken on the VMware side. This is to process the migration without disruption to the running workload. We can return to Cloud Shell and see when the migration is complete. Now we'll return to the Google Container Registry and refresh the images. When we look inside the application folder, we can see the captured container image is now ready in the Google Container Registry. When we refresh the bucket in Google Container Storage, we can look inside and see that the container artifacts are stored in GCS. Now we'll go back to Cloud Shell to download the artifacts and review the deployment YAML. After inspecting the deployment YAML, we will apply the deployment to Kubernetes to test the workload. We'll go back to the Google Kubernetes Engine cluster to look at the application deployment details. When we refresh the application, we can see that all three of the managed pods within this application are now running in a cluster in Google Kubernetes Engine. Finally, We'll go back to our application, which is no longer running on-premises, but is now running in containers in Google Kubernetes Engine on Google Cloud Platform. 